Hi everybody, we are going to name cycloalkanes. Let's begin. Two things that you want to do. First, you number and name substituents. Okay, so look at those substituents, that's where you begin. Um, and then to end, you always give the name of the ring. And remember for these rings, you just add the name cyclo to however many carbons you have. Let's practice. All right, I see this ring, one, two, three, four, five, six. That ring has six carbons, six carbons, hex, all single bonded, ane. It is going to be looped around in a cyclical attached pattern. And so I put the word cyclo, that would be a cyclohexane. But notice I do have a substituent on that. We've got one carbon right here. One carbon is meth. When it's a substituent, we add the ending il. So this is a methyl right there, methyl cyclohexane. Now, when you only have one substituent, you don't have to give it a number. You don't have to get it, give it an address. That could be written anywhere, and we'd say it would be carbon number one. Let's look at this next one. So my cyclical species on this is one, two, three, four, five. So that's pent, all single bonded, ane. Because it's cyclical, it would be cyclopentane. Now I have one substituent on this. Let's count how many carbons we have. One, two, three, four. Four carbons is bute. It's a substituent, so it becomes butyl, B-U-T-Y-L. So this is going to be butyl cycle, cyclopentane. Very good. Now let's start looking at some of these that have two or more. Um, two or more of our substituents. So again, the cyclical pattern on this, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six carbons, so it's gonna be a cyclohexane. But notice I've got two substituents. They're both methyl groups, one carbon and one carbon. So we're going to name these. Um, oh, I missed something here, you guys, sorry. We're going to have to name it methyl, but because I have two, you add that dye in front of it. Now, because of the numbering, the options, remember, you always want to go with the smallest numbers. So look at our options. I could go one, two, three, four, five, or we could go one, two, three. So we are going to call this the one comma three dash dimethyl cyclohexane. The one three is much smaller than the one five. You always want the smallest numbers possible. Let's look at number four here. So the, our cyclical, uh, aspect of this compound, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be a cyclopentane. And then I have two different substituents. I have two carbons in the substituent. Two carbons is eth, a substituent, add the ending yl, so ethyl. And then here we've got one, two, three carbons. Three carbons, prop, make it a substituent, call it propyl. We are going to number this so that the smallest, the lowest number, goes alphabetically with the first letter, the letter closest to A. <laughs> so we are going to number, number first the ethyl, just because it comes first in the alphabet compared to propyl. With that, that means the ethyl is going to be the one carbon and the propyl is going to be the two carbon. So if you have multiple substituents, when you're numbering, give the lowest number to the alphabetical, the letter that comes first in the alphabet. Uh, all right, so this is going to be one ethyl. Notice the dash I put in between the numbers, two propyl cyclopentane. Pretty cool. This one, we've got one, two, three, four carbons in our cyclical species, four but. So this is going to be a cyclobutane. And then I've got one methyl group on it. So methyl cyclobutane, nice. Let's look at this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in our cyclical species. So it's going to be cyclohexane, the circle with the six single bonded carbons. Um, and then I've got two substituents. I have one methyl group, one ethyl group. So which one am I going to give the lowest number, methyl or ethyl? Ethyl, because it comes earlier in the alphabet. So let's number this. This is going to be my one, two, three. Remember, I would not go one, two, three, four, five. We always want the smallest numbers possible. So this will be my one ethyl, there's the two carbons, three methyl, and notice the dashes I put in between the numbers and the letters. Finish it off, cyclohexane. One ethyl, three methyl, cyclohexane. Nice, they're fun. It's fun to look at these and be able to name them. You should be impressed with yourself. All right, good work. Have a wonderful day. Bye.